Right guys, um, today I'm going to do some stick cam footage of me flying in those um, woods behind me because they're quite tight, if you can see in there, I don't think you probably can see in there, uh, but yeah, um, just going to show you that you can do tight flying with a 5 inch drone, you don't actually have to, um, don't have to use a cine whoop, I had a cine whoop, I had it for two months and I, I dissembled it and used the pass for something else they're just they're good for certain situations but not for flying you know especially in windy conditions and stuff like that you know they are still quite bulky um i mean if you were going to go with the cinewhip option i'd go for something smaller like the beta beta 85x or 95x um but these uh these larger cinewhips are just not practical half the time so yeah I'm gonna do some footage of that um, and uh, yeah I'll show you uh, what you can do I mean there is an option to get ducks for these five inch drones you get the ducks and they're universal and they 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 obviously they screw into the arms um, and then obviously they ducked around it um, and then you use four inch props on it which obviously it keeps the ducks the same size as the five inch propellers and then you put four in and it's obviously supposed to make it a lot more stable um, you can fly in tighter circumstances where if you bump into anything you'll just bounce off of it So I might go down that option eventually But I've, obviously I think the only way you can get them is if you either print them yourself or you buy them from America Which is obviously there's a lot of import tax on stuff like that to here. So I don't know. Well, we'll see right guys. I'm just uh, Just testing to make sure this drone is working fine because I re um, rebuilt it the other night So I just want to make sure that it is still flying. Okay, so oh God, I, I hate doing this Seems alright. Check the motors if they're hot or not. Oh, well that failed. For this, I'm trying to figure out the best GoPro settings so I can fly in and out of the trees without having to do two takes of it. So what I've done is I've put the um, settings on auto shutter with that and ND filter on it. Um, minimum ISO 100, max ISO 400, um, and an EV comp of zero, so it's you know neutral, and then um, a white balance of neutral and a GoPro uh, color correct, uh, whatever the GoPro color is, it's uh, flat, so it's all flat settings on it. So I don't know if this is going to work. Let's just it should keep it bright enough in here where I can edit it afterwards looks pretty good so far and then obviously as we come out into yeah it changes which is good so I'll have to keep trying these settings but as for now this is the closest I'm gonna get so we'll try this yeah it's turned on now get the camera a good white Yeah, yeah, that interference is really making it difficult. Ooh, fucking hell. I don't know what that's from, I really don't. It's annoying the hell out of me. Right, I'll be right back. Well, that didn't work out the way I hoped. Um, it's very difficult to see that stuff with the, that interference that I'm getting. I just don't know where it's coming from. Right, guys, I just realized that I had my uh, phone Wi-Fi on that was connected to this, the GoPro that's recording now. 
um, and I've realised it runs on the 5.8 gigahertz frequency and that's probably what's causing this um, connection issue or the interference should I say um, I'm gonna try it again and I think it's probably gonna go away I did say that in the last one of my last videos that it was um, 5 point fuck off line um, I did say that in one of my last videos the 5.8 gigahertz frequency on your phone's Wi-Fi does interfere with your video because obviously it runs on the same frequency um, so um, yeah if you're having video issues first thing to do is make sure you're not running on any Wi-Fi or anything like that first and if so turn it off and see if it happens again if if not then at least you can rule it out so um, yep we're gonna try it again and fingers crossed it's gone away Oh, it looks good. Yep, yeah, I think it has solved the issue. Oh crap. Whoa. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better now. Oh, can't go that way. It's very difficult to see this stuff until the last second. Uh, definitely fixed the issue that I was having with the video. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm gonna, we're gonna move on a bit further down that way. But I'm gonna walk through the woods and see if I can find anything interesting to fly around. Right, let's go.
conclusion from today i would probably make sure that obviously 5.8 gigahertz frequency is not being interfered by anything else like your uh, you know wi-fi off your phone that's pretty much uh, it for today i've just been flying some freestyle and i uh and i just crashed into the ground and the and the the grass is really wet at the moment it's turned itself off so i'm really hoping that when it dries it comes back again and it hasn't fried anything yeah if there's anything you want to see in future videos please let me know but yeah anyways have fun guys and i hope you learned something